Hello folks, welcome to my YouTube channel. We're gonna get in here tonight, folks. So we're gonna draw some more flowers and doodle together, folks. How y'all doing? Um, I'm gonna draw the flowers, folks. This is gonna be like a flower backdrop. Hope y'all are doing well tonight, folks. I laid down, took me a nap today, folks, cause I was tired. But that's just to help me revive, to get me through the rest of the day, folks. I don't think I've been getting enough sleep at night. You know how people can think that they're getting sleep, but they're not. But folks, I am a little bit worried about our country, you know, because of them uh, people up there in the Democrat party are trying to be crooked about stuff. And I think that we, the people, could change that by uh, not voting for that Kamala Harris because she is going to run the country, folks. We've already seen that uh, four years ago, folks, and I'm hoping and praying that you guys think about that. And that you don't vote for her because, folks, she's not going to do anything because if she was going to do it, she would have done it three years ago. Think about it. She's doing that for someone else's agenda and not hers. Because folks, she doesn't even get up there and debate or anything and tell anybody what she's planning on doing for the country like Trump and them other uh, candidates that runs. If you vote for somebody, don't you like for them to get up there and tell you what their policies are gonna be, folks? That's just the way I see it. And that's what worries me because they've got all these people um, acting like they're following uh, Kamala Harris and everything, but how come they're following her if she ain't telling them what she's planning to do, folks? In my opinion, I think that January 6th thing was a setup to try to undermine Trump. That's my opinion, folks. You know, they've been doing anything and everything they can to um, undermine Trump since 2016 when he came down that escalator and the Democrats are trying to demolish our democracy by trying to undermine the American people by not giving them the votes that they deserve and everything. And I'm real thankful that uh, RFK Jr. is joining Trump's, uh, Trump rallies and things like that folks because we need all the help we can get to try to save our democracy folks and like i told you you can go on youtube there and look at um uh, look at 
RFK Jr. making his speeches and stuff, folks, and he'll tell you uh, what the Democrats are trying to do. And RFK Jr. knows what they're doing, folks, because he was a Democrat himself. And he knows what they're up to, folks, and what how they're trying to be crooked towards Trump and things like that, folks. And if you're interested in saving your democracy and your right to vote for who you want to without getting in trouble, folks, you should go check out RFK Jr. And if you want to know more about Kamala Harris or anything, you can go check out Tulsi Gabbard, too. She'll tell you about them. Kamala Harris is only doing this for herself, folks. She's not doing it for the American people. That's just my opinion. And that's not really saying that's not really saying anything bad about Kamala Harris. That's just uh, giving my opinion, you know. And I don't know what your opinion is, but you can come on, uh, uh, you can leave a reply down in the reply box and tell me how you feel about it or whatever. But, um, yeah. I like putting my flowers around the edge like this, folks. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw some butterflies too, but I'm gonna put them in the center of the backdrop. And we're gonna try to get this finished uh, before the video goes in way too long, folks. My husband's been chilling out and doing what he wants to today um, for, uh, you know, the, after the state fair and everything, yesterday was his last day of going, folks. He wanted to go see WLKY, and he was on WLKY yesterday, folks. Unfortunately, I missed it. I would like to have seen it, but I missed it. Hi, folks. How y'all doing? But I'm probably going to talk to my husband, folks, and try to get another um, a poster cleaner. I mean, there ain't nothing wrong with that spot cleaner I got, folks. But really, that's all it is, is a spot cleaner. And I want to try to see if he'll get me in a poster cleaner or something that'll um, plug in. Because I don't get too, too enthused about these things that uh, charge up. Because after a while, their batteries start going bad on them. And they don't charge up right, folks. But I'm sure that that is a good little machine for what it's made for, folks. I'm not saying that. But it's not made to do big jobs like it should. That's a smaller version, you know, kind of like to just clean up like what I was doing, you know, on that mattress, just cleaning up stains and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and get me a, a bigger a poster cleaner because I need to keep my mattress clean. And also um, I have a couch there in the front room that probably needs to be cleaned too as well. So I wanna get one of them for that. Anybody else that has their opinion on the election, folks, you can um, 
leave your reply in the reply box. Let me know uh, what you think about it. I checked the reply box, folks. I didn't see anything in it, so I didn't know if anybody was leaving any messages or not, folks. But I thought that was neat, folks, that I got that Trump train flag. And it really didn't cost me a whole lot either, folks. He gave, he probably gave a pretty reasonable price for it. And he said he got that Trump hat pretty reasonable, too. My husband finds a lot of neat little things at the auction. You know, things that's real high when you go to buy them anywhere else. Like we got our, our windmill out front. He got that at an auction. If you go to like Tractor Supply or somewhere like that and try to get something like that, it costs more. So, uh, you know, when you're kind of like living on a budget and stuff like that, folks, you can't really afford these days paying full price for something. So you have to get it as cheap as you can. We're drawing a butterfly now, folks. You know how it is, folks. We have to find them uh, cheaper prices these days if you're on a fixed income. See, what I did, folks, is I drew uh, flowers that went all the way around, kind of like a stationary type thing. And then I'm putting the butterflies in the center. But yeah, I, I enjoyed RFK Jr.'s speech. He had a pretty good speech on YouTube, folks. I got the, I went out there, tried to let those little chicks out tonight, folks, and they act like they didn't want to get out, so I just went ahead and shut the pen back. And I think what it is, is uh, those little chicks has got a lot of silk in them. And they're growing at a slow pace. So I think they're kind of scared of them bigger chickens, folks. So I went ahead and I'm going to give them a little bit more time to grow, folks. Because, you know, chicks can be cruel, folks. They'll try to bully little chicks like that. And them little chicks are smart enough to know that if they come out that pen, that's what's going to happen to them. Because, you know, chickens have a peck and order and everything, so that's just the way they are. That's their nature. So, yep. My little banny rooster was checking them out, folks.
These are like stationary uh, flowers, folks. And I'm just gonna pl uh, paint them different colors. And I think when I get done, you're probably gonna like it if I get done before the video goes in too long. You know how that is. But yeah, you know, they, they probably need to get a little bit bigger, folks, because they got that silky in them. And uh, that that means that they're not they possibly may not be as big as them other chickens out front. Oop, I dumped too much out there. Well, I use it like this. But anyway, let me use my edge brush. But I hope you guys had a good day today. I haven't heard too much from y'all. I was wondering if you're okay. We're starting out by painting this one pink. We didn't get around to reading the Bible today, folks, because the way things went, it's because I laid down and took a nap. So I didn't get around to doing it, but we'll catch up on it, folks. I've been spending a little bit of time with my husband because he's always gone to auctions and stuff. Because that's his favorite hobby, is going to auctions. You know, everybody's got to have something they enjoy, folks. Got to have something in this life to look forward to. But see how that's popping, folks? Really pretty. It's probably going to take a while on these because uh, they're, they're so small, folks. Let me get a paper towel here. paint th one of these uh i dumped out too much sparkles folks so i'm just gonna dip my brush in them i was talking to you all not looking and i dumped too much I went and listened to RFK Jr., folks. He sounds pretty good. I remember seeing uh, JFK Jr. back a long time ago when I was a kid. That's back when I didn't know that much about politics and stuff, folks. But I remember my mom and dad was going on about how good he was and stuff. And then not long after that's when I think it's when he got killed. I thought that was so sad.
get a little bit more pain on this. That windmill at Tractor Supply looks just like the one I got out front, folks. Except I like mine better because the rooster that's up on it shows up a lot better and it was cheaper than theirs was. That's what I liked about it. Well, thank you for joining my YouTube channel, folks. You have a good night and a blessed night to you. You got this, folks. You're awesome. Bye-bye.